Hello, 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 and welcome to FPV Firebird and Wirebent Studios. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the eShine Racer 250. And I got the ready to fly version. So, just to make a point, I am making this video in the field. All I took out there with me was the box that it came in, my knife right there, and my GoPro, and a chair and myself. And uh, just to, you know, just to prove a point that it does come with everything that you need to fly and, and get started doing some doing some FPV flying. Now my first initial <laughs> my first initial disappointment was that these four batteries that came with it for the transmitter were not charged. And luckily I did have some extras in my car, so no big deal. Uh, it comes with the transmitter. It comes with that lanyard right there, which is incredibly comfortable. I've never actually flown with a lanyard before, but it does really make all the world of difference. And just the fact that they threw that in there with the box, Eshine, great job. Thumbs up. Really made me feel like uh, you have the whole kind of package deal. Like you're really, really getting, really getting everything you need. It comes with that balance charger for charging one, two, and three cell batteries. And it came with this monitor as well, which is really cool. And it also has some accessories that go with it for mounting onto your, your transmitter actually right there. So I know a lot of people do flying with FPV goggles. I have a cheaper version. I'm really, you can see there's my goggles on the left there. Um, I'm hoping to upgrade to Fat Shark soon. If you have any recommendations on what I should get, leave that in the comments. That would be awesome. Um, so here's the quad itself. And it took me a couple minutes to figure out how to unlock the motors. But after reading the instructions, faced palm, I know, I know, guys, I had to read the instructions. <laughs> I figured it out and. Uh, I did some flying line of sight just to get a feel for, for how it is. And it, ha it does have a strip of LEDs on the back. It has, it has two front headlights right there as well. And I think that's just kind of a pretty nifty little feature for it. Kind of, I just really also like the, the way that the frame looks, it looks like it's smiling at you and that just kind of makes me feel good. So I uh, did a little maiden romping around and and this is it. Yeah, here's me just, you know, flying around. So what did I did I get everything that comes in it? Yeah, okay. So it came with two 1500 milliamp batteries. I think this is me here putting in a uh, a 1500 Florian 35C. It came with those two AA batteries, three chargeable types. Like I said, unfortunately they were not charged, but I did have extras in the car. And it doesn't come with a a charging station for those batteries, but you can pick them up pretty much wherever, Radio Shack, Walmart, or wherever you do your shopping, uh, Amazon for me, and they're probably just a couple bucks. Um, and your transmitter is really not using that much power anyway, so I think it's pretty cool that they uh, that they do give you those rechargeables. It also came with two sets of props, a white set and a black set, and initially they just felt so flimsy compared to things that I have flown with in the past, but they definitely do the trick. And it, you also get a small carbon fiber wrench for those props and the screen and a nice monitor that takes a three cell battery. And I think that's just super cool that you can actually use your, your same batteries that you fly with to power the monitor. So that's pretty neat. And the fact that it mounts right to your transmitter is also super neat. And other than that, you get a, you get the quad. That's actually it. Yeah. You get the accessories for mounting the, the monitor and, and the quad itself. And altogether, I think the packaging is really nice. Everything was real snug and yeah. Initial reaction. I think the quad, it's not quite as punchy as I have an Aris 250 B that I fly as well. Not quite as punchy as that, but it definitely, it definitely has some speed. I'm not, I'm still just flying line of sight here, but I did some flying today and, and that really kind of, uh, set my opinion in stone that I, I love this thing. I think it's super cool for 300 bucks. You get the whole, you get the whole package. You get everything that you need. Of course, I recommend you pick up a couple extra batteries so that you can just charge them all up and, you know, really have a, have more than just a few minutes of flying time. And 
yeah, so here I am on the farm flying, flying my drone for the first time, and it's really, really cool. I will mention that it's super windy right now. I would not be flying normally, but I was just so excited to get this thing unboxed and do this review, and there's my longhorn skull that I <laughs> bleached for a couple years. Really love that thing. Yeah, so I think... Oh, landed on the box. Great job, great job. So my videos... This is going to be vlog 26 unboxing Jane the Tame. That's her name. My other quad is named Jane the Bane. And this is Jane the Tame. So, yes, moving forward, all of my vlogs are going to be drone vlogs, either flight footage and voiceovers, or maybe some of my original tunes, some of my friends' music over, over flight stuff. I would also was thinking about possibly scoring like flying and then scoring stuff specifically for the flight if it's really cool but yeah the vlog is going to be a drone vlog so no more day in the life of me and my name is Mr. Wheats I hope that you do enjoy the video and I hope you know that it's it's a little bit better production quality than my videos in the past I am actually sitting in my little mobile studio now in St. Peter's Village Pennsylvania because I just, I don't think the GoPro Session 5, the, the sound quality is just not, it's just not good enough to, for doing voiceovers or, or anything. So moving forward, I'm going to be doing, well, I'm not really quite sure what uh, video editing software I'm going to be using, but I'm going to be editing my videos and then throwing them into Pro Tools 10 and then doing voiceovers and adding music and, and adding tunes. So I did actually cut the audio from this video, but in a in a couple seconds here i think i cut up to the top of the hill threw my goggles on and i actually did some fpv flying with my goggles and i did leave in a bit of the audio i think i cut it to 20 percent, and i will probably cut it even more just because it's way too loud <laughs> to be to be talking over but yeah i'll here i am yeah here we go i'm at the top of the hill oh no i'm not Whoa, that just got... <laughs> All right, here I am. I'm at the top of the hill, and the clouds are rolling in. It, the, the wind was really moving. And I'll just let you hear what this thing sounds like for a minute. Yeah, it's got a pretty hearty little sound. There was one thing that is just a bit questionable. It, it sounds like it gets a little bit rattly, and I'm not sure if that was just because it was so windy. I mean, it was probably like 20, 15 or 20 mile an hour winds blowing around up there. I could be totally off with that estimation, but it was it was enough to uh, keep me drifting around. So you can you can really actually you kind of see I, the winds blowing me this way back back back. And I had a little bit of a problem with my goggles. The brightness was the brightness setting was just out of control, and flying into that sunset was it just completely blacked out everything I could see. So I keep turning around and, and fighting that. So I'm going this way. I'm going this way. And then once I look to the left, I, you just can't see anything at all. The GoPro picks it up all right, but I'm gonna have to mess around with those. It's just my it's just my settings on my. Uh, on my goggles so yeah like i said if you have any recommendations for what i should be buying um looking at fat sharks now i know there's a couple different types but what are what what should i be what should i be wearing i don't even know i'm getting kind of more serious into the hobby i've got a couple quads now and i'm in love i'm just totally hooked i'm also going to be building a quad for under a hundred dollars on this channel coming up eventually um, building a sound studio actually in that barn down there just a little sound room for doing voiceovers and doing uh, a little bit of production work as well so yeah that's pretty much it that's pretty much all I really had to say I, I hope that you enjoy the video I hope that you will stick around and, and see what's going on in the future I'm going to probably be posting will definitely be posting some progress videos i flew today and 
got some pretty cool shots with this thing. Just just racing around some fields, went to the farm, um, and you know went through some trees, went around some hops. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so if you like what you see, leave a like, leave a comment, please subscribe. And the videos are just going to be getting better and better as we move along. This is, I'm not sure if I said it earlier, but this is the first actual video that I'm making completely in Pro Tools itself. So I, I well actually, I just threw a bunch of clips together and then I imported them into, into Pro Tools 10. And now I'm doing the voiceover. And I think that is, it seems to be working out all right. And I, th I think that's kind of what I'm going to be. Ooh, excuse me doing in the future so yeah uh initial thoughts after my first couple flights my maiden flight and the, and what i'm doing now is that this thing is freaking awesome it has you know everything you need right there in the box it's cool it's it does actually have a little bit of balls it's pretty it really is pretty quick you can't see it from here because i'm just kind of messing around and fighting the wind but Check out my uh, my next video. It's just going to be a little bit of uh, some flight footage, ripping around the farm, and yeah, that's pretty much all all I have for you. So, with that, I'll just say thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you next time. Wheats out.